Welcome everybody, my name is Xor. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're beginning a game, a let's play of a game that I've been excited for. I've been really looking forward to it for quite some time. It's called Gone Home. It is uh, what they're calling a story exploration game. They say there are no, there's no fighting, there are no puzzles. It's just you, you go around the house trying to find, or around the areas trying to find whatever you can find. And that's pretty much it. So, um... Rebind controls. Backpack, left mouse or E. Map, journal, left shift for zoom. Or right mouse. Right mouse will zoom. Okay. I think these pretty much are. Uh... All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep what they've got. I think that's probably about everything. Um. Play, hide reticule, highlights, enable head bob, enable head bob, <laughs> so as you move it, darling, yeah, darling, darling, darling. Uh, show training messages, enable interaction, hide, action tag, yep, I think it's, we'll just keep the, the defaults they've got. Uh, one cool thing I've found out about this game is that they uh, give you the ability to put subtitles in. Uh, they made that open, so you can. They're only releasing it in English in America, but you can you can put subtitles to convert it over to Dutch, German, French, Spanish, Mandarin, you know, Cantonese. I don't know whatever language you want, Belarusian, whatever, right? So, anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Use the arrow keys to walk. User, look around using the mouse. Okay. I'm excited because this has a lot of stuff. This is, so this takes place in the 90s, middle of the 1990s. So you're gonna see, you're gonna hear some uh, music from the Riot Girls movement then, Brat Mobile, Mobile, and uh, Heavens to Betsy, and uh, they hired another band, a uh, local Portland band, uh, to do uh, their music now that sounds much like stuff from the mid 90s. So anyway, so we'll get into this and see how it sounds. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Back in the day when people still used answering machines. <laughs> Didn't have voicemail back then. Not really. June 7th, 1995. There you go. 1.15 in the morning. Okay. No bag. Could zoom in. Right mouse button. Read stuff more particularly. So this is the Greenbrier family. Greenbrier family, I guess. You're playing a girl named Caitlin, who, I guess she was like away in Europe or something. And, uh, and so she grab it. Now. No interaction. So mouse sensitivity is a little bit. Uh, I wonder. Is there a gameplay? It's already there. Yeah. Okay. Controls. Smoothing acceleration. No, okay, I'll just get used to it. I'll just get used to it. It's fine. Uh, resume. Okay. Right mouse or left shift to examine it. Well, that's cool. So it gives you, kind of like in other games like Amnesia or whatever, it gives you the ability to, to examine stuff that way. That's cool. And that's that's basically what this game is. It's basically a you point and click, trying to explore things, trying to examine and read and whatever, do whatever you're you're going to be doing. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what's in here. Grab 
this. Oh, there's a key. Let's look at the duck. Nice. Look at the detail. This is incredible. It's just so good. Look at all these cracks and things. It's amazing. <laughs> Even a price sticker <laughs> that's worn. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. I'm impressed. Fulbright Company, you guys are awesome. Okay. So far, I'm really impressed. And I just barely started. Okay. Take the house key. Okay. You don't have to hold crouch. Like in some games, like in Elusive, for example, you have to hold crouch down. Just tap it and you go into crouch mode and tap it again and you come out of crouch mode. That's that's useful. You're not that your pinky gets tired or whatever, but it's open now. Do no, let's what's the note say? Whoops, let me go this way. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. And she crossed out mom and dad, so even even Caitlin, she doesn't want to know, I guess, right? We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Yeah, so that's kind of the big the big thing in this, right? Is basically the family is missing. Oddly. Like, you'd think you'd bring your bags in, but I guess she's more worried about this. So. This is a small, uh, small glitch. Doors that open in and out. Doors don't actually have hinges that do that generally. I guess it's possible, but... Uh, soft face. <laughs> Even a barcode. Nice. This is just so... It's beautifully done. Very artistically done. Just so much detail. Attention to detail in this. It's great. I love it. Let's see. So what's in the drawer? Can I... Well, I'm too low if I crouch. Let me just go from here, I guess. Yeah. There's bills and stuff. Okay, close that. Bottom. And that's the thing in this, right? Is basically you're just... Try everything. You don't know... You don't know what's... What's going... You don't know. You don't know. Don't pretend like you know. You don't know. You don't know me. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about me. So... Pretty cool. I, uh... I'm very impressed so far, and I barely even started. Oh, yeah, and then read note. Directions to work from new house. So, okay, so her family moved to this house, I guess, while she was gone, then. That's what I take it to be. Left on grab tree. Crab tree. Crab tree. Grab tree. No, it's G. It's a G. Look at that hook. Okay, grab tree. <laughs> uh, right on bullhorn. So you go... An hour and ten minutes. Uh, right. So he's got kind of a commute to do. That's what what American generally doesn't have some kind of a crappy commute they have to do. They have to take right, go to and from work. Mine's not bad. Mine's like twenty five minutes, but it's still a commute. It's not like right next door or anything. So that's on. I'll go ahead and leave that on. Voice. Wellspring Movers Incorporated, Forest Grove, Oregon. Yes, this is all in, taking place in Oregon. So it looks like they basically finished moving everybody in, right? Um, but there's still boxes. So they did, they haven't been home long in the new home all that long. Maybe a month or something at most, I would think. Tube sensors cover. Okay. So that's... Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so I guess she's not, she's not going to continue that, she's a first entry. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So her sister, I guess, is uh, also here. 
author. 50 contests went up to $21,000 in prizes. Yes! And when Stephen King was was uh, at like in his heyday where he was just starting to make like tons and tons and tons of money and everything. Um, he, well, he was already making a decent money, I think, by then. He'd already done like Tommyknockers and, uh, and Cujo and Carrie and stuff by then, I think. But um, I think it's kind of when he was still pretty big. People know who he is typically nowadays, but... There's not a whole lot he's been putting out recently, so. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that's. Grab the toilet paper. Soft plus. Quilted for extra strength and absorbency. Unscented. Because, you know, dudes don't want scent on there, so you probably. The dad's probably like, no, can we just do, like, no, no smell on it? That'd be nice, thanks. Alright, put it back. Cleansing powder. <laughs> That's just like a cleaner. It's funny. Hand soap. I'm just Im so impressed with the quality of everything in this. They're just so... I mean, what did they not pay tons of attention to? So they could... So bandages. So they could, you know, basically do a copy of the actual items. That's awesome. Another one. Yeah, okay. I'll paper roll back. Yeah. All right. So I don't know if there's anything else in there. If I don't, if I end up like getting stuck and I can't find more information out. Oh, excuse me. I use the bathroom. Hang on. Right. Sorry. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, let's go to leave the bathroom, I think. I don't know that I need to shut the door or anything. Boone County phone book looks like. All right. Pencil. A tempered to Kurtzberger, Schberberger. It says. Pretty sure that's what it says. Anyway, okay. Put that back. Got the marker. Sharpie. Nice. Very cool. Uh, itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Katie's departure. Uh, this is when she left. So a year earlier. Duh. Uh, flight 81. 12 10 to Amsterdam. Oh, so she was in the Netherlands. Nice, Katie. I love Amsterdam. Netherlands is awesome. Oh, she was all over, though. London, Paris, Zurich, Milan. Wow. Traveling girl. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, Let's close that. There, uh, I don't know there's anything else over there. Alright, what's on this one? That's kind of... There's no flashlight, right? There's, yeah, there's no flashlight. Uh, I'll turn the lamp on. There we go. That'll help. Uh, there is... Um, really, the point of this game, right, I think, is to just figure out what happened. Like, where her family is, why, why her family's not there, and, and so on, so... So I guess if you need to make a call. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. 
Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. That's it. Okay. That was the last message from her. So I take it this is probably Sam, right? Right here. And this is Katie. Or Kate. Katie. Yeah, Caitlin. Katie. Whatever her name is. Okay. And we have. Nope. Not a minute. This one. Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see this, see the, see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I have I ever hung out with him in the first place is that he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> like he's a total weirdo. Like oh my gosh, I can't believe he's such a weirdo. Like sir, for serious, dude. Oh, kind of creepy with no lights on in the hall. Okay. Your location in the house. So we were in the foyer just now, the foyer, if you will. Here's the bathroom, the front porch. Okay. Items. She got her password. Yeah. So, so that's us. That's what who we are. Aren't I beautiful? Don't you just love what I do with my hair? It's so great. Uh, boarding pass and the key, right? Some of this I don't know how much it's going to be useful, but it makes sense that you'd have the boarding pass with you still, right? Because, well, you just got back. And then that's the right. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eight two ninety four. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'll be bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all. Katie. One Arbor Hill. Weird. <laughs> all right. Okay, that's one of the postcards she sent. It's pretty awesome. So this is... I just, I can't get over how much the detail in this is just, it's so amazing. Obituary, uh-oh. Hang on, grab a photo. <laughs> DeSoto. Nice. That must be her friend, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Got a pen. Just a pen. A pen, a pen, a pen. Okay. See what else we get. More pen. Pack of cards. Right. See, that's the thing is I don't know on any of these if you need to examine them and then you get like some something updates, like more information on whatever. Some of these things like pencil, I kind of doubt they're going to be especially helpful, right? But it's still really awesome that you get all these details and stuff. Oscar Doc uh, Mason. Masson? Probably Mason. 60 of Boone County died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, 1933. He was old. Uh, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, nephew Terrence Greenbrier. Oh, I wonder if that's her dad. So this is her grandpa, I think. Probably. Uh, as well as in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Okay. So I think her, that's her grandpa passed on. And there are several rooms and the hall curves. Let's start with this room, I guess. There's a closet. Ha! Ah, awesome. Awesome. It's one of the right girl bands I was telling you about, Heaven to Betsy. Totally awesome, dude. Alright. Note. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. So this is Sam's stuff. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so you can get right into the swing of things. Sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One line notebook per, per period or one large notebook. Blah, 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 blah. And a positive attitude. <laughs> like, totally. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. 
See you soon, and again, welcome. Beth Valance, Principal. Cool? Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. <laughs> so, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. <laughs> I think we'll have some ideas about what's going on, and I'm sure you guys can guess it too, but okay, we're going to call this part here. Thanks everybody for watching this band. Let's play Gone Home Part 1. My name is Zexor. Please don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about this so far, and uh, I'll continue on, continue doing this. Uh, it's not a very long game. I think the the developers were saying like their average playtime with people who had playtested before was like three hours. So it's not a terribly long game, so I'm breaking this up into about 20-minute segments each, and we'll just do this for the next couple of weeks. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Till then, peace.